no! You guys couldn't hear any of that? That was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> My computer didn't refresh. All right, all right. So. Rewind. Welcome back to the live stream. Oh, I can't believe we didn't turn on the sound. We're trying some new software today so that it's easier to use. <laughs> you had it muted. <laughs> and I muted it before we went live because we were testing. My apologies. Anyway, let's get back to some things we were talking about. This balloon. All right, we're going to rewind, do a couple things really fast. We do it. Oh, that's a bummer. Thanks for letting us know that we didn't have sound. That would have been a long half an hour. All right, here we go. Yeah, the sound, that's what made this experiment the best. All right, so I've got this balloon. We put air inside of the balloon, and the air pressure is pushing in all directions, and the air wants out. And here I'm holding it. And when I let it go, oh, that was a sad one, it didn't even squeal. All right, your sound is working. It just didn't make any sound that time. All right, here we go, one more time. That. <laughs> it went way in the living room. That was really cool. So what we've got going on is air, right? When we put air into a balloon, it creates pressure. That pressure, that air runs out. It escapes the easiest way it can, and that's out the end of it. So I'm going to grab the other balloon that we were actually doing just a second ago. And i got to watch these strings because we've been running into them all morning. So I've got a balloon here. So here, the balloon I just let go a second ago, it was going in all directions. It had no control. And what we're doing with this is, there we go, now I can let it hang there just for a second, is I've blown up a balloon. The balloon is ready to roll, actually ready to fly. And I have this clothespin right here holding the neck of the balloon closed. So what I can do is I can literally bring it over here. And I can let it go, and it goes flawlessly. That is so cool. And what I love about this is that you can actually set up and do your own strings all around your house. My only recommendation is, oops, where'd it go? Whoop, whoop, whoop. There it is. Sorry, can't find the string. My only recommendation is, is that when you take your straw, that you don't forget to tie it on beforehand. Will you grab that again, Heather? Perfecto. So, what we did earlier, when we didn't have sound, put your string on, set it up, and this is a piece of color string. If you have color string, it's fantastic. Maybe yarn. Try different types of string. Does fishing wire work better than yarn? I don't know. You have to give it a whirl. But then once you have it on there, you can blow up your balloon. And what I was saying is if you have something like this, or a clothespin, it'll allow you to hold a balloon so it doesn't deflate and take off. All right? Should we do one more? I think so. All right. I'm gonna cap that and pull that. See, it'll stay together now. Ah, the static is crazy in the house today. And if you get daring, you can hook up multiple balloons Put one here and put one on that side, and you can duel and see if your brother or sister's balloon <laughs> will knock the other balloon off. All right, ah, do you see the static? It's crazy. All right, here we go. In three, two, one. That was awesome. So yeah, set up string around your entire house. Have some fun with it. Parents, join in on the fun. Thank you. And be sure that you're experimenting to see how far can a balloon go? What if I make it smaller? What if I make it larger? Do I have different types of balloons? I know at the party stores, they have all sorts of crazy shapes, big round circles, squares, rectangles, it gets crazy. Um, but speaking of air, yesterday at the beginning, blah, 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 blah. Yesterday at the beginning of our stream, I was actually using a hairdryer. And I was holding the ball up in the air. So we know that this ball wants to fall down because of 
gravity. You got it. So when I let this go, it's going to fall and it's going to bounce, come back up to me a little bit. Gravity is pulling it down. But what I can do here is I can create a column of air and this ball gets trapped in it. But what I'm also going to do is I'm going to try to tip it to see what's going on. Because in this room, we know it's filled with air. All right, here we go. So now I'm going to tilt this. And I want to wa watch the ping pong ball. Let's see if I can get it to spin. It's not spinning too well. But look, the hair dryer is not underneath it. The hair dryer was actually way over here. The column of air was shooting this way. And what happens, just like our toilet paper and our paper that we were lifting the other day, the air is moving across that ping pong ball, which means that the pressure above the ball is less. And the ball, the air underneath it is pushing up on the ball, so it's holding it up. So it's a really cool little activity that you can try at home. And if you don't have a ping pong ball, um, try it with different things to see if it'll actually go up in there. But... I don't know if you guys can hear that. My ferret is going crazy. She wants out. She knows we're filming and she wants to hang out with you guys also. Maybe at the end we'll bring her out. Let, her see, let him see him. But I was thinking, if you have a hair dryer and you have some extra parts at the house right now, you could build something really cool. And if you don't have these things, that's okay. That's why we're doing this so we can have fun learning together. And then when you have an opportunity to get some of these things, you can go out and buy them. But what I have here is a PVC. I have some PVC. I have a little piece of uh, plastic and these are the fluorescent light holders to store your fluorescent lights. And then I just have a rubber gasket. And basically I went to the store, I took my hair dryer and I found the right part that fit the hair dryer. Just like that. It is the right part, I promise. All right. And so now I connected this clear pipe so you guys could see it, but this, container here. Oh, I need to pull that out. There we go. So what happens is the air wants to move out. Oh, yeah. So what we've got is this right here and I can take a ping pong ball and what's holding it in my hand? Gravity. And I'm going to turn this on. <laughs> oh no, hold on. Oh, here's another piece that was, hold on, let's see if it works now. That worked. I have a little piece in there that got jammed. All right, so what's neat about this is I can actually take these ping pong balls that are sitting here and I can lift them up. It's like creating a vacuum effect, right? So this air is moving through here. It's creating lower pressure and basically creating a vacuum so that when I turn this on, I can rapid fire at Mrs. C. Where are you guys? So, <laughs> so you can have a little bit of fun with that. Be careful. Don't fire them at anybody's face, obviously. But what's really neat at this, neat about this, is I can turn this over, and I brought I brought something along that I think we should try if you guys are up for it. Um, so this is a really small tube. Wouldn't it be cool to put? Oh, actually, let's try that. So now if I turn it on. This is a mess. <clears throat> All right, what I can do though, if I really want to get crazy, I'm going to grab something. And I don't know if anybody noticed, but Mr. Bones got dressed up for today. He's got his Einstein tie on and his Einstein wig. He's totally enjoying what we're doing, hanging out. Ooh, somebody wants to know do Easter eggs work? Do Easter eggs work? Oh, like the plastic eggs? Yeah, I would. <laughs> I would. You know what? That is a good. That's a great idea. And I'm wondering if they're thinking about this. Yeah, try it. Get your hair dryer and get an Easter egg and try it. Now, Easter eggs aren't perfect spheres, so I'm curious to see what'll happen. But I think it'd be really cool. Or even like an inflatable, like um, like an inflatable toy that is like a circle, like a beach ball almost. 
you could try that and see if it would lift it, if you could create enough thrust and force. Yeah, that's awesome. Great idea. You could see what your hair dryer could just move, right? It doesn't have to be shot shooting it. That's true. You don't have to fire things at people or, or things like that. You can just use the air to power things and move things around. I wonder if it would do the Vanelli's part. All right. <laughs> it's. I think it's out of the camera frame. <laughs> Look at that. I think it's like 30 ping pong balls. So we're just going to do a rapid fire. Um... I'm going to go wide. I think you guys can see it. But let's go to that camera. I'm not sure how hard, hard it's going to fire. But here we go. In three, two, one. <laughs> All right, that's so cool. That's so cool. The problem with doing this, though, is you always have to clean things up afterwards. And that's not as much fun. And I know some of you are looking at it and you see it sitting here and you're going to ask me, what about this thing? <clears throat> so this is a leaf blower that we're, we use sometimes for outside to blow leaves, but uh, Mr. C always tries to get out of his chores. So after I do my chores, after I actually blow the leaves, then I, then I get to play. And so I think we should hook this up. I have one more large tube of ping pong balls that I prepped. Do you think I should try it? I'm kind of nervous because we're inside the house. There's not. It only fires at 160 cubic feet CFM. Miss C is shaking her head no. So we're going to have to do it for sure. All right. So we're going to unhook the hairdryer. I'll fire it towards the front door so that no one's in the way. All right. Let's make sure we have power. Oh, I think we've got some friends online. Who do we got online? Uh, the Bakers, Riley and Gavin and Blaine, I think might be there. The Bakers dozen. There we go. Hey, everybody. Sarah said hi. Hi, Sarah. I just about knocked over the light. Zach the... thought that was cool. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, I'm going to... That's where I, ha I have to put it right there. Otherwise, we're going to knock over lights. And then the whole stream will go down. All right, here we go. So I have another tube, and the cool thing about the way I built this is the adapter that I put on the front of this leaf blower uses this same adapter that I took the time to build. So now all I have to do is squeeze that in there, like so. Look at that. And now we're ready to roll. I'm just going to tighten up this bolt just a little bit so nothing falls off. Uh, isn't that a thing of beauty? Science. All right, so Bernoulli's principle. We're taking this idea of moving air and using it to our advantage to have some fun. And if you've ever been at the live shows, yeah, we have a lot of fun shooting ping pong balls. Oh, somebody made a good point. You can use your ping pong ball to attack neighbors. Keep that social distancing. <laughs> All right, I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to encourage anyone. It's working. Yeah, yes. Yes, it is working. Mrs. C is, has distanced herself. She's in the back of the living room, which is about 20 foot away at this point. All right, here we go. All right, I have to be really careful. Should we do it that camera? And I'll just fire it over there, over your shoulder? Sure. Did you hear the hesitation? So, yeah. So we saw how the other ping pong ball cannon, the leaf, the hair dryer, fire the balls out. But this one is going to hopefully fire them a lot faster. And I'll back up as much as I can. I gotta watch this. All right. It should be. You should be okay. You ready? Mm -hmm. Do we switch side? Do we switch mm -hmm. lenses? All right. Hey everybody! In three, count down with me. I know you're at home, but count down with me. Three, two, one. <laughs> the dog. The dog. The dog. I saw the dog run across the living room. The dog ran across the living room. It's okay, Puddles. <clears throat> oh my gosh. That was so cool. That was amazing. That leaf blower, it's it like fires up so rapidly that it just, those ping pong balls just fly. There's no like ramp of time. It's just like, Whoa! All right, so we've had a lot of fun today. I've got one more thing that I wanna share with all of you. And you, you might've seen it sitting here. 
and I'll post a link to uh, a video so you can build one of these yourselves using a plastic cup and a balloon that at the house. That because almost everybody's going to be. And this here, it looks like a paint bucket, right? And that's because that's what it is. And so what I did is I took, I took and I cut a circle out of the paint bucket's lid. And then I literally just put a garbage bag right here. So I have this membrane. And inside of this container, is there anything in there? Oh, they want to know what the dog's name is. Oh, our dog's name is Puddles. Our dog's name is Puddles. And it's not because he has accidents in the house. It's actually because when we got him from the rescue, it was raining really bad and his little belly just wandered through the puddles. He just couldn't get his belly out of the water. So his name became Puddles. All right. So this here is our air cannon. Inside of it, there's nothing in there, right? Wrong. We know that there is air. There's air inside of this. And what we're going to do is we are going to hit the back of this and air is going to come out of this hole right here. Now to illustrate that, you know, if you build one of these, you can set up some cups, some plastic cups at the house. If you have like the little teeny tiny Dixie cups, you can set those up and make a little tower or you can take um, and make like a little curtain with some straws and some paper so that you can see the air pushing through. But I actually brought along and I have a candle. I'm hoping this works. I haven't tested this today. So I don't know if this candle, oh, it's strong. It's a strong candle. All right, so what I've got, other than a big mess right now, I've got a candle that's on, and I've got this. I'm gonna bring this closer to you guys. Can you see it? Is that good? Yeah. All right, so if we're lucky, ah. I think it's too much down there. All right, it works. The air will work. Let's try it one more time. I think the candle, yeah, I think the candle, that actual flame is recessed in the holder too much. <laughs> it works. I, I think it's supposed to work. All right, here we go. Come on. All right. That's what you do if this doesn't work. But... The problem with this whole thing is we could see that the candle was flickering, right? When we were shooting, and you can see that I'm moving the smoke. I thought it would be cool, and we're gonna end this experiment. We're gonna end our episode, our stream today, with this experiment because we're gonna put more smoke into the house. And it's gonna be hard to see things after fire alarm is good, we're good, I'll check. All right, so I have a fog machine. And for those of you who are wondering, that's why I have this little container, this little piece sitting here, so that I can actually keep the fog in there to do the experiment. <sighs> ah, it's really foggy, isn't it? It's okay. All right, here we go. We're going to try this. <gasps> oh, that was so cool. Oh, my gosh. I, I hope you guys can see that. I'm trying to get it right over the lens. I've got a couple. Oh, that was cool. Could you, could you see that? Yeah. <sighs> All right, boys and girls, you guys have been awesome today. Check out the video. Check out the video. I'll post some links to some other stuff for you guys to watch and to do some activities today. I have a video on how to make one of these using a big garbage can, but all you'd have to do is modify it to a cup. We have a cup one too. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll use the one from and Speakers and Beakers. Beakers. So if you watched the episode from Speakers and Beakers the other day, you can see it. I'm gonna do just one more pack and then we're going to, uh, this one doesn't, this fog machine just has a mind of its own. But,
All right. You guys have been fantastic. I hope you had a fun time learning together. If you have pictures of what you're doing, please share them. In the meantime, have a great day.